welcome back to another video on fs22 and precision farming and today mixing in coarse plate to help with soil sampling so let's roll the intro and get to work so as part of the 7.1.14 update the ability to use coarse plate to soil sample with precision farming was added in um, i'm actually running 7.0.1 1.15 which has some minor hot fixes so yeah doesn't make much difference really in terms of what we're going to do today so we are going to use course play to soil sample field six on Carmston, the field that we all know and love so if we just jump into the map and go to precision farming if we look we could purchase a soil map for fourteen thousand and seven hundred pounds um and that would need 56 soil samples so what we're going to do is compare how many soil samples it needs to do it with course play how the costs compare and that kind of thing and just to show that we do have course play wages set to 100 percent so we'll get an accurate cost for the workers wages i guess you might be thinking why would you do this you know not only financially from my point of view i like to see the map busy and if I have a huge farm, I don't want to soil sample all of it, but it's quite nice to see tractors working in the field, so maybe you're the same as me. Right, let's get to work. First, we need to bring up the course plate HUD, and that is a right click on the mouse. Um, we're going to clear that off. And so we have first waypoint selected. We're going to left click on no course to bring up the course generator and leave working with and we only have one tool if you've got multiples maybe you want to change that set it to one headland headland first sharp corners this helps with missed bits in the corners of fields everything else leave as is and hit generate field work course and you'll see in the background we have our course and now it is as simple as lining up reasonably well with the start point i find that sort of helps with all course play things and we're on first waypoint so we'll just hit go and set this working and see how it gets on now you will notice if you look in the mini map um the tip course play maybe doesn't go as far as you possibly could between samples for kind of the maximum efficiency what it's doing is it's driving to the point where the circle doesn't overlap with a scanned area already and doing the next sample you oversample a little bit but you don't miss any field so what we're going to do now is just leave this to run on a time lapse and i'll come back to you when it's finished scanning so make sure that you don't miss out just be there we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we'll play loud surfing the crowd everybody Jumping around, yeah, that's the place where I wanna be. Going on stage, headline on a Saturday night. Oh, 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 oh. Saturday night. Oh, 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 I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no. So we are just on the last run up the field and as you can see we've already covered pretty much all of the field but we're going to let course plate run through if you were paying attention to the mini map as I said you will oversample slightly and you know, you can see here we're probably wasting a fair few samples but you know I have just left this tractor to run around the field doing the soil sampling I could have been off you know liming fertilizing doing whatever in another field taking care of animals and this guy or gal has for scanned the field for me more of a useful tool if you've got a big farm or lots of fields and as i said if you don't want to buy the soil maps i quite like seeing other tractors driving around the map as i do other things so for me this is brilliant Looks like we need probably one more sample it'll probably take a couple more um, but you know that's pretty much the whole field sample it may do one more before we get to the end 
we will let it run through to completion just to see just how many samples it does take you will notice that when we submit the samples it may say it's only taken one sample you get charged for all of the ones that it's taken so there we go so you can see it says one sample taken but actually it has taken the required number of samples so we can clear off that course it's closing up the uh, sampler for us and we will send those off for analysis and we'll see what it's going to charge us for the soil samples and we'll probably get a bill for the worker in a moment I, uh, I have done some other testing on this map unfortunately so it's not so easy to tell what the workers wages are so we'll just speed up time a little bit just till we get those samples back there we go so £6,600 on soil samples and Let's just have a quick look, see if we can work out what the wages were. Uh, actually, yeah, only £500 in wages, which is not too bad. So if we compare that to going back up to the precision farming menu and purchasing the soil map. So we've taken less samples and sent significantly less on wages and covered the whole field. So that is soil sampling with coarse plate and precision farming. If you found this video useful, uh, click the like button. If you've got any questions, then drop them in the comments below. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you next time.